Tonight, the Hilton School Board heard from concerned parents after a second bomb threat against the school was made this week. Despite the threat today, students and staff were able to remain in their classrooms, this time with additional security measures. Wednesday's threat, though, prompted the evacuation of all their buildings. Christian Garzon joins us now with more from tonight's meeting. Well, Teresa, the school board would not talk about the book this evening. This book is gay, saying there's a process for that. Instead, this was focused only on the nature of these threatening emails, responses on Wednesday and today, and what the school board plans on doing if this happens again. Superintendent of Schools Dr. Casey Kisorek says Hilton was made aware of the second bomb threat at 7.20 this morning from law enforcement. The threat at that time was not deemed credible by the Monroe County Sheriff's Department, but they decided to deploy the canine units out of abundance of caution. Once cleared, students entered their buildings with a delayed start. Classes and activities resumed. The threat, he said, was the same as Wednesday's. With the exception of one additional line, threatening to throw Molotov cocktails into district offices. Tonight, parents were able to email their concerns to the board. Some complained about confusion and calls to them being delayed. The board says they are aware. Part of a re, you know, redoing our entire network uh, infrastructure is one area uh, that we will be able to make improvement. Parents also asking if police have any leads here. At this time, they don't have any ties uh, to anyone here locally. Additionally, are other schools getting these threats regarding this book? It turns out, yes. A school in Iowa uh, received a threat and was um, sent home for the day. And if this happens a third time, what's the plan? Kasorik says they want to find the balance between this disruption and letting learning continue. Strategies that we have, unfortunately, I don't feel comfortable sharing with the community. But know this. We do not want to be bullied or intimidated as a community. And what these people want us to do is to continue to cancel school. And this weekend, the school board plans to meet with law enforcement to continue to refine their plans should this happen again. Teresa, right back to you. All right, Christian, thank you. The school board did say the email domain was the same one from Wednesday, which likely originated outside the U.S.